What's up, everybody? It's just Mike here playing another episode of Mike vs. House, the only series on YouTube in which I take three Pokemon into the Super Singles battles in the Battle Maison, and I see how high we can get. All right, we're gonna jump right into it today. We're gonna go into the Super Singles battle. Uh, my record currently stands at four straight wins, Young Master Mike. Last episode, we had a great uh, set of four matches. The episode before that, we had a great three matches, and then the last one kind of died, but... That's not important, because in this episode, we're going to keep on going with the same three Pokemon that we had before. Um, I think that this time, I want to lead with my Breloom. I'm going to lead with my Breloom, I'm going to bring in Superhero next, and then I'm going to bring in my Gengar. Because that's just how I think is going to work well. Uh, let's see for this episode, or at least for these set of battles. Um... If I can, uh, you know, lead off with a non-grass type. Hopefully that they won't... What am I trying to say? Hopefully they won't lead off with a non-grass... Hopefully they will lead off with a non-grass type. I cannot speak today to save my life. If you enjoy these kind of videos, please do hit that like button right down there. It always helps out the channel. Okay. So, uh, Balloon versus Volcarona. Not the best matchup, but honestly, I have that four times effectiveness on the Rock Tomb. So... Not bad. Either way, I'm going to get down to 1 HP. Clearly going super well. But uh, honestly, that's not that's not bad. Because I'm able to take out this Volcarona. I do have the Mach Punch. Um, that I can just kind of attack whatever. Heracross is going to come out. I don't know, actually. Am I faster than a Heracross? Do I have anything that can take out Heracross if this backfires? If I go for the Rock Tomb and it doesn't uh, go through? Yeah, I guess I can go straight into Gengar. All right, fine. Let's go for the Rock Tomb. Let's hope that I'm speedier. I am speedier. Perfect. Okay, so that'll do... Wow, not that much damage at all. Oh, because he's part fighting type. That's why. Oh, all right. Well, that being said, though, uh, because he is part fighting, I can go into Gengar, and I can go for straight-up Dazzling Gleam. I know that I'm faster, because I have to be. Um, poison, though. Um, um, okay, no, I'll go for the Dazzling Gleam. Let's go for that Dazzling, Dazzling Gleam. Taking out the Heracross, super effective. Exactly, that is what I expected from Gengar. You expect no less from the Life Orb Gengar. Uh, next to come out is Escavalier, uh, in which I don't have anything necessarily for, so I'll just go for the Stab Shadow Ball. I do have the Close Combat on the Glade, so if uh, this Gengar ends up going down, it, you know, isn't the biggest of deals. But this Megahorn shouldn't take me out, honestly. Of course not. Yeah, it's it's going to do, like, uh, probably a third of my health. So, you know, that's good. That's perfect. Escavalier is going to go down super, super easy, because that's just what Escavaliers do. They die. Uh, that's actually not true. I, li I, like es I like Escavaliers a lot. But either way, that's battle number five down. Super easy in that, uh, in that respect. Ooh, Stephanie's online. Cool. Stephanie's an awesome person. Alright, so Mike received 2 BP. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <sighs> hey guys, how are you enjoying this series? Are you guys enjoying the series? I'm enjoying the series. I mean, I lost the first one. We didn't get all that high in the first one. The second one was really good, I think. Uh, the battles were really solid. And, uh, you know, I'm, I'm just having a lot of fun with it in general. So, I mean, post down in the comments what you think about the series or what you think about Battle Maze on in general. Uh, is there any other kind of Battle Maison, um, or Battle Maison, um, series that you want to see? Do you want to see, like, Super Doubles or anything like that? Because I know a lot of people don't really care for doubles and triples. That's not true. A lot of people care for doubles because of VGC. I don't know. I'm just rambling on today. Either way, the Intimidate... I, I'm really not a fan of all this Intimidate business, but, you know, it is what it is. Either way, so Broom is able to take down a lot of its speed, at least. And uh, next turn, I'm just going to prop... Okay, what? All right, fine. Go for the U-turn. I am fine with that. Because you know what I'm going to do? Depending on what comes out, uh, it's a Porygon Z. I think I'm going to go ahead and put this one to sleep. Yes, I'm going to put this to sleep. I'm going to go into... I'm not even going to go into Gallade. I was going to say that I was going to switch into Gallade, but... Mm, I might have to. I think I'm going to have to switch into Glade after all. All right. So let's go ahead and do that then. Superhero, come on out. Let's go for the close combat. Uh, I, I While I was editing uh, yesterday's videos and the day before that's videos, I was realizing that 
I don't really pay a lot of attention to stat drops. So, like, when I use close combat, I forget that it even happens or that kind of stuff. I hope I don't die from that. Oh my gosh, I did. Okay, that's an issue. Uh, we have just Gengar left, and this Porygon Z has a Shadow Ball. Ugh. I don't pay attention to stat drops, and I don't pay attention to speed tiers. So, that's two things I need to... Uh, start concerning myself with. Of course, this Porygon Z goes down to a single shot or a single sludge bomb, so that's a thing. Low Punny is going to come out. If this is the same kind of Low Punny as uh, before, it should be able to do absolutely nothing to me. It's going to encore, and I'm fine with that. Wow, it's fast though. Why is this Low Punny so fast? Uh, I I don't believe that it should be going first, but maybe it. I don't know. Maybe it is. Either way, so it's going, for, <laughs> it's going for more Encores, so clearly that means it has like, I don't know, Fake Out or Dizzy Punch or some stupid thing that just isn't going to do any damage, um, or is not going to be effective at all to Gengar. Either way, the Staraptor is going to come out, and it still has absolutely no HP, so I will be able to take it out with Sludge Bomb. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy for breezy. Goodbye. Um, Alright, cool. So that's the second match down. I got a little scared when uh, my Glade died, to be completely honest. Because, uh, like I was saying, I don't really pay attention too much to uh, stat drops or speed tiers. And honestly, those are the two things that can kill you really badly in uh, Battle Spot. Not Battle Spot, but uh, Battle Maisel. So, um, I'm just going to keep continue battling. Honestly, why not? Why not? In order to become a first class trainer, I was forced to come study abroad here. Okay. I mean,. Good for you, little, I guess, German boy? Schoolboy Potter? Yeah. I uh, sent out my mortar. So, <laughs> of course, uh, they would send out the fire types against my, my Broloom. This place is rigged. Um, let's just go for the Spore. Because if I am faster than it, which I am, it's got Vital Spirit. Oh! Okay. So, we have a little bit of an issue now. Oh, okay, so it's speed one up too. I just gotta mock punch it. Oh, I messed up. I messed up bad. Ooh. So here's another problem that we have. This is, uh. This is scary. I mean, how was I supposed to know that Meg Mortar had Vital Spirit, honestly? Oh boy. So it's just gonna use Confuse Ray. I'm I'm glad that it didn't use Flame Charge or another kind of move that would probably kill me. But uh, as long as I don't hit myself, <clears throat> as long as I don't hit myself, we're all right. I just choked a little bit. I hope that I don't choke in the rest of this match. Like, not whatever. You know what I you know what I mean. Uh, choke is in mess up. Let's go for a Shadow Ball. Um, hmm. I did hurt myself, that's not cool. And the Stealth Rocks came up. Okay, you know what? I'm alright with Stealth Rocks. I'm okay with there being Stealth Rocks on the field. Why are you using Protect? Whatever, I'm confused, so... Hopefully this means that next turn I'm gonna break out of Confusion, and it's not gonna be such a big problem anymore, but... You never know. Here we go, of course! I am confused for the fourth turn in a roar. In a roar? There's a roar. For the fourth turn in a row, and uh, I'm just gonna be roared out into superhero. So this is a protect stealth rock uh, roar Agron right now. So that's that's interesting. I'm not gonna go for the swords dance because even though I could, I probably will just get roared out. So let's go for the uh, close combat. Let's take out as much as we can. Um, I'm not even sure if this is gonna kill, but it should. It should, right? Okay, right. Sturdy. No. He has Focus Sash. Right, they don't get sturdy, they get something else. But here comes the Roar, uh, bringing me back out into Gengar. That makes no sense to me. But either way, he's he's just doing all this chip damage with uh, <laughs> the Stealth Rocks. So I'm down with it. You know what? I'm down with it. This, this is a kind of sickness that I can get down with. So. All right, well. <laughs> That has been an interesting little scenario. Here comes the pincer. Uh, pincer I can deal with, I think. Uh, pincer I can deal with, uh, not with Thunderbolt, but you know what? Shadow Ball. Shadow Ball is what's going to do it for me. 
Uh, is it gonna take it out? Yes, it is gonna take it out. Perfect. All right. So now the pincer's gone down, and that is win number what six. So good for us. Very nice. Is that win number six or win number seven? I can't remember. Let's do one more either way. We're gonna make this a 15-minute episode, all right? I was oh, it's battle number eight. Whoa! I thought it was six. This is gonna be battle number eight. That was win number seven. All right. Cool. So we'll do this one last. Your opponent will be me. Again? The fan club's greatest battler? We faced you last time. Is it Alekia? It is! It's Pokefan Alekia! Dude, like, you're back and you have a Salamence. That's... okay. Well then. That is, uh, scary. Very, very scary. Everybody has Intimidate! They, they're doing that on purpose, right? They're giving me all the intimidating Pokemon. Right? They have to be. I absolutely... no. Oh, psh, come on. Anyway, so Zalmas is going to be fast asleep. <clears throat> uh, going to be able to just go for the Rock Tomb. I guess I have to, right? Uh, yeah, you know what? It deals half the uh, half of his health, so I'm a... Uh, wow, come on. Ugh. Scary Face is going to lower my speed. Um, I might. No, I'm not still faster. I'm going to be faster next turn, though. I am going to be faster than this Salamence next turn, so this is actually just fine. My Rock Tomb clearly does m What? What's going on? Why did that happen? Why did I- What? Did I get a crit the first time? I think I might have gotten a crit the first time. Either way, let's spore it this time. Let's put it to sleep. Because I am faster than it, and let's just hope that I get a crit, I guess. Um, you know what? Hmm. I should probably take this opportunity to switch out into Gengar. Because assuming that Salamence is going to be still asleep, I'm going to be able to go for the Dazzling Gleam. Uh, just straight up take it out. Plus all the stat drops will be gone for my Brulum. Because honestly, I need to stop ignoring stat drops. Okay, it has minus two speed. It has minus one attack. So it's going to be useless after this uh, Salamence goes down. So, let's at least take out the Salamence. There we go. Broloom is still at full health. It's still at, or it's going to be back at uh, normal attack, and it's still going to be back at normal speed. So, uh, here's a Gengar. Let's go for a Shadow Ball. Don't be faster. Oh my god, it's faster. Okay, well then. There goes my Gengar. And what uh, variant is this? Is this, no, this is not a, uh, uh, what's the word I was thinking of? Um, 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 Life Orb. Okay, so I'm gonna have to hope that this Mega Evolution Shadow Sneak will take it out. I can't imagine that it would, but uh, we're, we're gonna have to hope. So I'm gonna go for that Shadow Sneak. Please do at least a lot of damage. Okay, good. Yes, and it's gonna put me to sleep. Why would you put me to sleep? Come on. Ooh, boy. Alright, let's go for the Shadow Sneak again. I need to hope that this... Nightmare. Alright. I began having a nightmare. I'm kinda alright with this, to be completely honest. Uh, yeah, cause I could just wake up and go for a Shadow Sneak again. Boom! Done. Okay, I got lucky there. I got really lucky that I, uh, woke up from that... Woke up from that nightmare. But hey. Now, Glaceon is gonna come out. Glaceon, I can deal with! Perfect! Okay, no, we're good, we're good, we're good. Close combat. Close combat should take out this Glaceon. Absolutely no problem, right? Yes. Perfect. Okay. I thought we were going to lose it for a second. I, I got a little pessimistic, but then Gengar, he went for the Hypnosis Nightmare, and I was like, all right. Yep. Yeah, fine. Great. Anyway, so that's going to be the end of today's battles. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you enjoyed the video, please do hit that like button right down there. It always helps out with the channel. You can also tweet me at StillJustMike. Tweet at me at StillJustMike. And uh, we can set up a battle. I want to uh, start getting a lot more singles battles uh, up on my channel. I also want to try and get into VGC, but that takes a little bit more breeding and time. And time isn't necessarily a liberty that I have right now. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take what I can get. Either way, please do subscribe to the channel if you enjoy my stuff. And I will see you in the next episode of anything. Tomorrow is probably going to be um, some more of the, the Battle Maison. I kind of want to do this one every day and uh, just kind of supplement that with other videos. But whatever, you'll, you'll, 
You'll understand through my actions rather than my words. Anyway, you guys keep on doing your thing, and I'll be still just Mike. I will see you guys in the next episode.